This video demonstrates how to make a post plot when comparing two samples. One is an independent two sample, another one is pair two sample. So first we're going to show how to plot the data for independent two sample. For example, in this case I have a data set that I already set as a CSV file. I have two groups, which is a red and green apple. Then I have a measurement. So the first thing I need to do, I need to read the data. But before that, I need to set the working directory. So I'll just pick run to set the working directory. Then after that, I need to assign the data as an object. And I have to define the object name. So read dot csv bracket put the open and close quotation mark just copy the file name including the extension dot csv just click run so after that just click on the data and check whether you have the correct data loaded into the R if everything is okay then we can start to plot the data command line for the box plot is box plot bracket so in this object we have two variables that we're going to use so one is a color which is our category variable so it's a name of our two groups then we have the measurements so we need to plot the data read green apples which is our data set the measurement according to the color then we just click run however the post plot is not complete yet because we don't have the title and we don't have the captions for the axis so what we need to do, we can just write comma, we can type man to include the title. So put the quotation mark. You can type anything. So when you click run, then you will see the title appear. Then the next thing that we want to label is a axis name for the y axis. So sometimes it, when we type the comment line, it will become too long to be viewed, so we can click enter. So the next one, just click enter, is the label for y axis. Just click equal to quotation open and close just type the name of the axis then you can click run then you can see the name of the axis similarly we can define the name of the s axis then click run then we will have the axis name for the s axis if you want to change the name of each of these categories, it's still possible. So we can type comma, just include the name, equal to, since we have two categories here, so we need to put C bracket. So the first name is green peppers. And follow by the comma, put the quotation mark again, then write red apple. You can click run. So now you have a complete chart. So the next thing that you want to do is to export the chart as an image. So you can click set an image. So you can change the dimensions of the image. Okay. 
and then choose a file format that you want to save. And since we have sets our working directory, so the image will be saved in the same directory that we have set just now. So we just need to write the name of the file. Then click save. So we can go into our folder and check whether the figure is there. So this is how you're going to plot the data from independent sample. So to plot the data for the pay sample, we use a very similar command. The only difference is this part. Because the data that we collected is arranged differently. So before that, then we need to load the data into the R. So for example, this is a pair sample that we compare the left and right arm length of the student. So this is the pair sample. The way that we arrange and organize the data is very different from the example of Apple just now. So the first thing is to load the data into the R. So we assign the name of the object. And type read CSV. After that, type the open and close quotation mark. Copy the name of the file including the extension csv Control c to copy and then paste just click run so now we have a additional data set just click on the data set to double check so you can see the way they arrange the data is very different from the apple so what we need to do for post plot still the same command We just type the left and right arm data set for the first variable, which is the right, not according to, but comma, to put the second variable. Still the same data set, but this time we put the second variable, which is the left arm length. We can click run, then the data will be plot. As usual, we put our title so you can click comma enter to move to the second line so the script will be more easy to be read so you write the title so you can just copy paste change the words and click run of course, you also want to label the y axis. Label the s axis. And the last one is to assign the name. So now we don't have the name of each of these category. So we have to type names to give a name for each of these category, and we have two category. So you have to put a C bracket, write the name of the first category, comma, the name of the second category, then click run. Okay. Then you have a complete post plot. So similarly we can save the chart. So remember it's very important to save your script 